But of course, a lot of you felt it too. News Channel 15's Adam Widener spent the day getting reaction around Northeast Indiana. Well, Mark and Alyssa, it's a topic on almost everybody's mind today. And News Channel 15 traveled nearly 100 miles to get a small glimpse of the impact this big event had on people in Indiana. It felt like the house was moving off the foundation. Whoop, it woke me up. <laughs> If you think these are stories from California... I'm thinking, no, this is not California. What is going on here? And they said 4.2, and I thought, oh, gracious. Guess again. You don't expect earthquakes in, in Grable, that's for sure. He says, what is that? And I says, well, that's an earthquake. The quake hit at 7.55 this morning near Kokomo, a 3.8 magnitude. In Huntington, News Channel 15 tracked down one family whose whole house shook. Frightened me for one, and then I ran into the bedroom to check on my husband. I could tell it frightened her quite a bit. I was in the process of repositioning my flagpole, and it actually has fallen off of the, uh, the top of the patio where I had it. We then headed north to Columbia City, where the stories were just as dramatic. Sounded like a train derailing. <laughs> Obviously, the building moved, the floor moved. And finally back to Fort Wayne, where folks gathering groceries tell of the tremors. I felt the bed shake. I looked at the clock and it said 7.55. Right about when we realized it's dawn, or at least I did, uh, all of our animals jumped up for some reason and ran around for a little bit. Uh, you notice that when you've got a husky and three cats in the same bed with you. Although not everybody felt the quake, the birth pangs of baby New Year are hitting people in Indiana hard this time around. I'll be 41 next month and I've never experienced anything like that. Now, no serious damage after the quake, but folks will still have the story to tell for years to come. In Studio 15, Adam Widener, News Channel 15.